Hello everyone, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian fishing for float fishing journey. Today I'm going to fish for some bream in a little bit of a different spot. Uh, I came down here to uh, the bridge down here to wait for a little bit. Did just catch a medium-sized crucian, still a marker, so wanted to go ahead and start recording. But uh, we're going to go up a little bit back towards town and fish for bream tonight wanted to do a different spot for them tonight and see what we can do so i do have my rods out here right now the bottom rod is on garlic dough i left this rod on garlic dough as well too and then i put uh sweet dough on this rod here so so far haven't caught anything amazing haven't been out here more than about 20 minutes in game if that Really haven't wasted any time. Uh, did not look at cafe orders. Have not looked at the weekly telescopic or uh, records to see if we're still on there. As far as bream go, uh, we got pushed down a little bit. A couple of people caught some big breams. So we've got number four there. And then white bream for the U.S. We're still number one there. Good day for that. I didn't look at the weather. I noticed it's starting to get cloudy and foggy, which is interesting. I just missed that fish. And both the floats going for a second there. I do still have pretty big hooks on uh, the bottom rod and this rod are size one hooks and the other float rod is a size four hook. That's a big gibble. 800 gram gibble there. I missed that one. Let's see what's on the bottom rod here. Nothing spectacular by the feel of it. Marker roach, though. First marker roach using a doe bait? Wow. It's almost surprising. The first roach using a doe bait. On feeder. Interesting. Yep, that's baked out there. Feels like the gibbles are out in force down here. Gotcha. Another good gibble. Six hundred gram. This is a fun place to bottom fish for big fish because you are facing into this little pond area here, and as long as you stay on the bridge it's almost impossible for them to get past you and go the opposite direction so this is a fun place to fish a lot of times 
got big carp here. Pinch. Roaches. Uh, I've caught a couple of good eels down here before in the past, too. We will be moving up to uh, 5232. It's just right over here, this area, for bream fishing tonight. The spot I saw for this was using uh, cottage cheese dough, which we don't have yet, but garlic dough should work pretty well as well. Yeah, small fish here. Another small fish. That's at least a marker, I think. Yep, just barely. I did not look at cafe orders. I have no idea what's on the cafe. Just figured this was a good place to come to stall a little bit until we get closer to bream time. Which we're getting pretty close. It is pretty warm too, 18.8 degrees. Fish on the bottom rod? Oh, I think so. Good crucian here. Wow, with how far it was pulled down, I'm surprised. Oh, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. All right. We're going to go over here to 5232. About even with back building there if I remember correctly yeah right in here and I believe we're aiming for a 12 meter clip on this bad boy but we may not be able to get out quite far enough with our float rods but I'm okay with that we'll get close enough and I think we'll probably be pretty good with meter and a quarter let's see yep it's gonna float just fine so still a little bit early here for bream time but i'd rather get set up here a little bit early than be a little bit late and we'll see how today goes Carp fishing, kind of a mixed bag, a couple of decent ones, nothing super amazing. And that was probably about 10 minutes of real life time fishing. I just went to take a drink there, and uh, it helps if you open your can of uh, seltzer before you take a drink. I think I uh, kind of chuckled before I muted because I tried to drink a, take a drink out of a sealed can. Thirty-two thousand experience out of fifty-five thousand for a level up. We may get close to 15 today. It'll be a little bit of a stretch, but that would probably be the stretch goal for today is to get to 15. 
and still need silver really for our next steps. Like to get some bigger rods before we go to bear. We may skip quarry on this account. I don't have a whole lot of good times there. So we'll, we'll play that a little bit by ear. Quarry opens up at 16. Um, and bear opens up at 18, if I remember correctly. Yep. First fish over here. Small white bream. We're still a little bit early. Usually about 2200 is when bream time typically starts. Times I can get it at about 8, about uh, 20 hundred. So that's why I came over here when I did. And I already had all the rods out of the water anyway, basically. So it was a good time to move. Good fish. Good news here is if we hook big fish on our float rods, we won't have to walk back along the dock to get to shore. 2.4 kilo, nice one to start the night out. 27% bottom fishing as well. Over 27% on bottom fishing, almost 40 on float. Which is about what I would expect with this build. Love to see a trophy bream over here. Probably a little bit bigger than we can than we should handle, but we should be able to pull them in. Trophies start at four kilo around four kilos, so. These rods, the two float rods, should be able to support a four kilo fish, depending on how hard it pulls. And then the bottom rod, that's basically, did I upgrade this one? I did upgrade this one, so that would be pretty much at the max of its capacity as well. I think we have small, and we upgraded the line a little bit, right? 4.8 kilos on the line there. Six six two more red worms, nice. This one feels more like a white bream than a bream or something other than a bream. And we'll never know because I didn't catch it. I don't usually see bream kind of do that jerky pull, pull it down, let it go, pull it down, let it go. Usually they push it up, let it go, push it up, let it go. White bream I've seen do the pull down, push up, pull down, push up. Hoping I logged in after the rain. 
phone. It's supposed to rain today, but today is almost over. I didn't log in until about six or uh, about sixteen hundred, about four p.m. when I logged in. Bottom rod just went slack. Fish on? Nope. This is a little slower than I was hoping for, though. Calm fishies. Big one I caught on uh, bottom fish and got my hopes up there at 2.4, but this is not what I was hoping for. Pretty committed to this area tonight, too. I don't want to run too far from here could go up in this area though Come on, fish. Where are you? Even my next door neighbor's dog wants want you to come out. You hear her barking in the backyard. There was an hour of not even a single bite, just a nibble. You know what? This one, I never switched, did I? No, it's still on sweet dough. That would be why it's not catching greens. Decent bream here. One kilo. Just kind of reset everything there. Nice three red worms.
Not on the bottom rod yet, but it's trying. Was trying. There we go. Decent. Had a good pull and then just kind of stopped, so probably around two, one point six. Not bad. I also notice I'm the only one showing up in chat right now, catching fish. Another red worm. At this point, I have more than enough worm, worm worms, but getting red worms, I think, is helpful. Yeah, we got 2,200 red worms and only 61 red, or 2,200 worms, only 61 red worms. Eh, I thought I saw something on it. I saw it popped up, but I was wrong. I mean, the bream we're catching are pretty good quality bream, but quantity's lacking. Actually fish this same spot from the other side. Coming out this way before. Notice some slack in the line there. I don't think that was a fish actually biting it though. Me reeling it in, making sure it was good and tight. I thought I saw a little movement on this float. I just why I picked the rod up to give me the float cam. I think I was daydreaming. Bottom rod just went completely slack. Not on it, of course. Yeah, this is painful tonight. Almost makes me want to abandon the bream plans. This isn't working.
sat there for three hours with no bites. It's not worth it in my opinion. So let's try something different. Um, I haven't thought this far ahead, really. But over here is a spot. Uh, where exactly is it? There it is. And here is a spot that I've had some luck with going for sleepers in the past. So I think I'm going to try that. I can't remember how deep it was, though. Point two five is good if I cast all the way out. Right over here, real quick. That was over here. But I am going to throw the bottom rod over here and just see if it's any different here. We'll go down to a 10 meter clip. So I put a night crawler on all three hooks. Let's see if we can catch sleepers, some roaches, hopefully big ones. This doesn't work. I don't know what I'm going to do. Going through. Uh, VK, real quick, I've alt tabbed over and keeping an eye on the screen through OBS. A lot of what I'm seeing right now is on um, oilies and in, like in-game expensive stuff. Yeah, interesting. Evidently, folks are catching rough left and right over at Mosquito. Not really seeing anything interesting on VK. Old Burke or goes up on it. when I translate 
using uh, Chrome's internal translation tools, Oldberg shows up as prison on DK. That hasn't gone slack. Just kind of looking to see if I want to try a different spot at all. Not really. May just go back to the bridge and go carp fishing. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Day's been rough. trees Let's go ahead and put the cage on here version kibble mix and go sweet oatmeal on this rod a little bit see what happens so sweet do sweet dough on the outside rods oatmeal on the end of end rod inside rod and oatmeal caught a decent gibble here Hundred and eighty seven. This rod does still have a little bit of a smaller hook on it. It's got a size four hook where the others have a size one. Decent cruise in here. Thinking about putting a one knot hook and potatoes on the bottom rod. Seeing if we can't get a grassy. Good crucian. Something just tried to take the bottom rod and slipped right off the hook. Decent one here. Come on, game. Good fish here. Looks like a decent one on the bottom rod as well. This is another. Six, seven, eight hundred gram get bowl that I can't get out of the water. Now it's going to be under the dock.
One. One point one. Nice. This bad boy in. One kilo there. Don't think I locked the feeder rod there, but there was this fish on, and I didn't want to miss it. Although this looks like a small grass carp. Small is relative. Probably a one and a half kilo grass carp, but they can get pretty big. So I'm going to drag this one into land and get it glitched. Come on. There you go. Over here. Well, awesome. Got cut on the dock, I guess, and tore the line there. We lost the hook. I didn't even think I had that much pressure on it. I'm kind of surprised. 500 gram crucian. Fortunately, that was a good hook, too. That's going to be an expensive replacement. I don't know if we lost the float. We probably did. Nope, we saved the float. Um, let's go ahead and just put a one knot on here. Right now. That's unfortunate. Now I guess I gotta buy two ones. Size one hooks. Good gibble here. Dubby gibble. I think that's only the second time we've lost anything on this account. My second time to lose a fish in tackle this week. I had a big, I'm pretty sure it was a big car, common carp over on Belaya steal a bottom rig tackle from me it's kind of surprising it was a wet bread size 16 hook and fish just took off and I hadn't upgraded the reel yet and I never had never stood a chance I'd ever slowed it down Big crucian here. I wonder if we're over a thousand fish on this account yet. Good 
good one here. This might be a trophy. Trophy, 2.1 kilo crucian carp on float fishing. 845 experience points. I missed the fish on rod two there, but I was celebrating catching that crucian. I did see someone just pop up a uh, regional record for a crucian, weekly regional record for crucian that was less than two. So it's possible we're going to get on the boards again. We did. The username I had seen was a... Asian name, so I wasn't sure if it was a U.S. regional or not. 1.2. Something like Japanese Fisher. There are definitely Japanese people in the United States or whatever as well, but you never know. So, weekly records, telescopic, Reset it back to weekly. Recrucians. 2.88. The overall one. And 2.4 is the local one. Not bad. Or how bad of a day this has been with the night not doing anything for us, losing a tackle, getting that uh, weekly record crucian. I'll take it. I would just need a gibble or a roach. That would make me really happy. Ah. Miss that one. So here's the setup that pulled the crucian in. It was a size four hook with sweet dough. was definitely popped up there. I just remembered it's Thursday night. I gotta go take the trash out tonight. Pick up in my neighborhood Friday mornings. Another decent crucian. Ah, dad, bad. Way to go, fish. You win. That's interesting. And 8.30 at night. Uh, Alexa. Noise. And I didn't order anything that I can think of. Oh, it might be monthly equipment notification reminder that's another good crucian you're gonna get two trophies We 
you're gonna lose a second hook. Just short. that one even though the float was definitely being pulled down all the way just like that one wow that's not a bite i don't know what a bite is anymore Small marker crucian. Ooh, just got this one. And unfortunate. And I wish I hadn't missed that one. Another good fish. Gibble. Not as good as I thought it was, though. This one's over a kilo, I think. Just barely. And just shy of a marker. I really need to get a new float for rod two that's not white. It's so impossible to see in the clouds. see the circles in the water that was telling me it was moving but I couldn't see the actual float just barely a marker there is something on the bottom rod I think I just missed a bite here on two
fish I'm going to throw back. such a small fish that it wasn't worth it. Here we go. You a blacky? You a black carp? Or grass carp? Black carp. Nice. That's our first black carp. I think that's my first black carp ever on uh, telescopic, too. We've been going about 52 minutes here. We'll cut it off here in a couple minutes, head back to town, sell what we got. For as bad as the night was, unfortunately losing the hook, I think the day is not going to be as good as I would like for it to have been. My guess is not opening my net and looking, just thinking through what we caught. We're probably in the 60 to 70 silver range, and then we'll spend... 30 silver at least to replace that size one hook that we lost earlier. I think it's actually 35, maybe even 40 silver for those hooks. We may break even, and especially if I buy a second hook like I would like to do. I was already thinking about buying a third size one hook and then lost one of them. Why is my phone going crazy? Come on. Small fish there. I think that uh, small fish may be the last one for the day here, though. Yep, I'm going to call it there. So 39 fish in 54 minutes, so just short of a day. Probably about two and a half hours short of a day. Not the best day. Experience-wise, was pretty low compared to what we've had the past few nights because of the bream. Although that uh, small black carp we got helped, and the few bream we caught overnight. A little bit of proof you can't always trust spots you see online. You can't trust spots that I show you. Fish move. But I had to try it. Wanted to try something different. And honestly, going carp fishing there at the end, I'm happy. We got the uh we got the trophy crucian out of it and got on the leaderboards for Hellistic Crucians, so for the regional side. Alright, so how much do those hooks cost? Hooks, classic, Rage Series 1, S1s are 30 silver pretty much on the dot, so 
going to spend 60 silver, 62 silver, we'll say. Um, overall, fish-wise, at the fish market, I still say we were in the 60 to 70 range, although scrolling here, if the trophy was worth 12, that's going to help. We might be below that. 78, so not too bad. It's actually better than I thought, which is good. Gibbles, four gibbles here for 12. Let's make sure that that's worth it. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, sort by weight. Uh, this was the first one, so that is worth it. There's 12.75. Finch we didn't get. Roach we didn't get a big one. Common we didn't get. White bream we got one tiny one. There was a rough order. That would have been nice to try for. Big grass carp. Might have had that one if we hadn't lost the hook, but I doubt it. And the rough order just expired. And nothing else there, so. Twelve and a half and sixty-eight is eighty. So we still made twenty silver for over three hundred. So it turned out okay. Not the best day. Not the worst day. But I do want to go ahead and throw the size one hooks on here while I'm thinking about it. And put that also on this rod as well. That gets us set up for tomorrow. I shouldn't have to do anything. Appreciate everybody watching. We'll be back again tomorrow. And I hope you all have a good one. Have some good tight lines. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.